Hello beautiful makeup lovers, welcome back. Hola bellezas, bienvenidas. My name is Caroline for those of you who are new. Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to have a lot of new makeup purchases that I have made the last couple months, but I haven't gotten the chance around to show it to you. There's so many releases, so many videos to make. It's really, really exciting. But last weekend, I went to the mall which is, by the way, is not very close to my house. And I did it again. I got a couple things at Sephora, plus an online order from Beautylish. And before we start this video, please don't forget to subscribe if you have not. I upload videos every single week. And in this drawing community, in this family, we love makeup. If you love makeup, please, subscribe, hit the little notification bell down below, click so you get notified every time I upload videos like this and follow me on social media. Without further ado, makeup lovers, let's get started. First, I'm going to start with, um, I have my face with only foundation, concealer, and my eyebrows because I wanna play with the different things I have purchased. Let me show you. Uh, this beautiful VCR mini palette, which I am a new customer and new VCR lover. I used the Rose Edit the other day. Let me show it to you. It's beautiful. Everything is new. Um, well, it's not true. I made a makeup look with this um, palette. I love it. It's beautiful and they are so pretty. Look how cute is this mini palette from VCR. I know that they are great eyeshadows. I never tried them before. I know that makeup artists and a lot of uh, YouTubers buy VCR, but these were my first ones from them. They are beautiful. This is the warm edit. And look at the colors also. Beautiful, great, great palettes to travel. And let me put them side by side so you can see how they look and this is how they look together oops <sighs> so they really complement nicely with each other they're really really beautiful i love them so you can see it well i really like them and this purchase was made at beautylish.com i don't know if some of you know Beautylish, but they are an online store where you find luxury makeup. It's beautiful. I also got, let me show you these brushes. I'm very excited because I love, love brushes. And these are the Surat brushes. This is how they look like. I got two, the three, oops, eyeshadow brushes, eye brushes, and three for the face. I didn't purchase the one, um, the large powder brush, because I have larger brushes. I also have the last one. That it was a collaboration between Chico Hara and Beautylish. Uh, it was a release for the Chinese New Year, and it's beautiful. And I really didn't see the need to do it, but probably in the future I might be adding and completing my set as wrap brushes. They are absolutely gorgeous and I will be using it today to complete my makeup. I also have to show you this beautiful Chantecai and these are uh, real bronze and this is in color Goa. It came in two colors. I got the deepest and I hope we can see it on my skin because <laughs> um, I'm darker. I was on vacation like for five days on the beach. So I just hope we can see the color on me. Then we have the beautiful Bond Number no. 9 lipsticks. I don't know if you are familiar with these lipsticks. They are beautiful. And one of the things that I like the best about them, here is the case. These ones I didn't order because I wanna test the colors on my lips. And this is, oh, here it is. See how luxurious it is? I went to the store directly at the shopping center that I have close by. This is how it comes. I got two lipsticks. This is the case. 
Isn't this gorgeous? It comes in this box. I get it out of the box. <gasps> Bond number nine. I will write everything down below on the description box for your convenience. So you can check on colors and prices and you get it out like that. They are refillable. This is just the case. Look at that color. <gasps> oh, I hate when I have a new lipstick or a new eyeshadow palette and I have to stick my finger on it, but I have to do it. <laughs> this is the color. Let me just on the back of my hand, very gently. This is how it looks. It's like a deep pink, deep rose pink. And those are the colors I favor. I really like them. And on the inside of the case is red. Isn't this beautiful? I love it. Especially this type of makeup, so luxurious for when I go out to dinner and I can stick it in my purse. Not that anybody will see it, but <laughs> myself, but I think it's just beautiful. This is the refill and it comes in this paper package. And it looks like that. It's paper. It's another beige nude color. And this is how it looks. Beautiful, isn't it? All right, now the things that I got from Sephora are mostly from Fenty Beauty. Now let me show you what I got. And I got different things. This lipstick from YSL actually is the matte stain in color uh, 5 Rose Food Gang. And this is mostly for, I was thinking about this color now for the fall and it's beautiful. This is how it looks. This is from YSL. Love it. Then we have the Dior Backstage Eye Palette. I did not get the first one because the colors, they were too ashy I found for my complexion. But I think this one will look better on me. They are more, they have more color and this is how the palette looks. I'll be making a look, a couple looks with this palette. I usually, for those of you who are new, when I purchase a palette, I like to make a couple looks with that palette and show you different eye looks with it. That's kind of fun because you have to use what you have. Then I have the famous um, Stona Lee paint and this one is in color uncensored. That's her famous red lipstick. This one is supposed to match everybody's complexion. It's supposed to look good on everybody. This reminds me um, of a nail polish bottle. It's really beautiful. Wow. And I tested at the store and I liked it. It has enough blue to be very deep and look good on me. I love red lipsticks. Even though I don't wear them a lot and I'm more of a nude lipstick kind of girl, I still absolutely love those kind of colors. Now we have the Kilowatt highlighter from Rihanna. I already um, stuck my finger right there. <laughs> and this is how it looks. You guys have seen it before, but I will be testing it and seeing how it looks. Then we have the other one, Illuminizer highlighter, and this one is in color Ginger Binge. It's more rosy. Beautiful. So let's see and I start with my face. Let's complete my face with some of this new makeup, shall we? All right, let's start with the fun part, which is the eyes. And I decided I'm going to use the Rose Edit. I will start by applying this little light color on the palette all over my eyelid. And I forgot to mention with the biggest uh, brush from Surat. This is the eye 
shadow brush which by the way you can use brushes for any part of your face that you like whatever works for you but really brushes can be used for any part of the face that you want for instance this brush is supposed to be an eye brush from Surat but really the purpose I purchased it was to apply powder under my eyes because it goes right here on the corner of my eyes and then I can move it like this with the powder but that's me it can also be used for highlighter it depends what you like now I will apply that little pink color right there that beautiful pink color oops and these are very pigmented and apply it right here on the corner of my eye keeping the brush up because I don't want the brush to go down because it would drag my eyelid and make my eyes look even more hooded and blend those colors well this is not the typical eye look I usually do it looks very colorful let's hope that it's gonna be tuned down a little bit more I'm gonna go in with that little iridescent pink color right there and apply it to the lid right here and I think these are beautiful eyeshadows really great if you want to invest in VCR for the price point they're like 30 some dollars and you have six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve eyeshadow pens they're mini they're small but you have a range of colors so I think it's very convenient if you don't want to spend in the larger palettes because they're very pricey they're like $90 and to be honest with you I've been thinking about it and the new warm um, palette too I'm like oh, $90 for that I'm thinking about it <laughs> it's on my wish list though now with a Ray Morris brush and this is a point brush I'm gonna go into the darkest color right here of the palette where or out of view of my eye right here and just make give it a little bit of depth to my eyes and I'm finding that using a smaller brushes for my eyes makes my makeup application easier it's more effective honestly now with a smudge brush, I'm going to use this one from Laura Mercier, it's an O one. I'm going to go back to that dark brown color and apply it on my bottom lashes right here, mostly on the outer corner, just on the outside. I'm going to focus the color right there on the outer, on the outer part of my bottom lashes same Surat brush I'm going to smudge that color on the bottom I will apply mascara and be right back all right I'm back and I finished my eyelashes with um, this combo and this is um, the Dior primer and this is the Dior show mascara let me start by applying powder which is my regular Chanel with this particular very interesting shape eyeshadow brush and I'll apply this under my eyes but see how effective it is how nice it is to apply your powder with this brush it fits right in right on this part of your eyes I really like it and even on this part of your nose I think it's a little bit too big for this eyes at least for my eyes if you have big eyes beautiful big eyes then I guess you can use this brush but it's still for regular eyes brush I find it too big and this one is like a taper brush small one we're gonna use it to apply powder all over my face let's see I really like it and this one you can apply your blush your highlighter it's multitask all of these brushes are multitask you don't have to use ton of brushes 
Me, I love makeup brushes. I love them, I collect them. Maybe one day I can show you my collection. Let's move now to contour and I will use the Chantecai, which was a limited edition. I don't have many products from Chantecai, but the few I have, I really like. They are famous for their designs. And also this is a gel baked bronze. It's beautiful. And it has, I see it's a cool tone. Let's see how it looks on me. Now I'm gonna swirl. We're gonna use the angle size brush, this part, and apply it. Oh wow! And I really like it. It has a little bit of reddish undertone, which is good. I don't like too much red because it can make me look funny. I don't think that complements many skin tones either. I think it complements my skin nicely. I'm gonna apply a little bit here on the sides of my nose. I really like this brush. It's great, I think, for powder, blush, highlighter, contour, because right here, look at the side. Look what it does. It goes right in, and they are natural hair. Now let's apply highlighter before we go into blush. Since we are working with pinkish tones, we use the Fenty Beauty Ginger Binge Moscow Mule, Moscow Mule color. And they are, they're really, really bright. This is how they look. They can be pretty intense if you build them. But they are beautiful. I will use the taper brush and I think I'm gonna swirl because I love to swirl. And the excess on the back of my hand, I don't want to go in with that much color. <laughs> oh. And I see glitters. One side, this side has micro glitters, this one is not. And that's not something I favor because it emphasizes texture and pores and that's just not me so I don't think I'll be using that side of this well this glitter is absolutely beautiful <laughs> but I don't think I can use that on a regular basis I'm gonna move to blush and I will be using the 360 hyper fresh this color from Chanel with the Surat brush. This is the blush brush, which I use also for powder. And apply just a tiny bit right here. Don't worry, it looks very bright on camera, but it's not that bright. Let's move to lips and I use this color and oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Pigmented and creamy. It's a satin finish formula that goes on the lips very smooth. It feels beautiful. Let me check the other color and this one is an afternoon snack and no honey. These two, they look softer. And I'm just gonna apply it a little bit because right now I feel intimidated. And I'm gonna use my fingers. It looks more subtle, which is more of my style. That's why I like Dior and Chanel highlighters, and mostly at my age, also liquid highlighters. This I can have. It just accentuates lines, and when you smile, you get those lines and accentuate. They're really you can really see them, and it doesn't. It's not a it's just too much in my mind. So I'm gonna fix this and be right back. All right, I am back and I try to fix it as much as I could and remove most of the glitter as much as I could, but I guess that it will only be resolved washing my face. <laughs> I'm going to finish my eye look with the afternoon snack and I will try this color right here with my Hakuhara fan brush. 
on my brow bone right here just a tiny bit and we finally completed this look i hope you guys enjoy this haul i got my favorites here but these ones i will have to try these fenty highlighters i will have to try them again with a different brush probably i used the wrong type of brush because i really have a lot of glitter on my face and even on my hair i will need to experiment a little bit more i like more subtle highlighters which you can find i mean the other side of the highlighter is subtle which is this one the the other side actually it's more it has more glitter micro glitters which is not really my type i'm very happy overall with the rest of my makeup the bronzer the eyeshadows the quality of these eyeshadows is fantastic the brushes i love them all um the lipstick which by the way let me tell you a little bit about the bond number nine for those of you who don't know about them they are a perfume company based in new york and they came out a year or two with these lipsticks and lipstick cases with the red color it was a line of different shades of red and now they have it uh, with nudes they have a whole new line of nudes i don't know why did it take me so long to get them i really like them enjoy them the texture of the lipstick it's so creamy and nourishing my lips do not feel dry i love the formula satin one of my favorites very comfort very very nice and makeup lovers we have reached the end of this video i hope you liked it i hope you enjoy it please leave me your comments below and questions i love to hear about you what you like what was your favorite item and if you did like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up share subscribe and i will see you next time thanks for watching